send deep inside the bowels of this mountain to a cavern where they would hold religious ceremonies. Legend also tells of the little people who lived inside Mount Kanakdai during the Ice Age. We got poison oak down here you got to watch out for. 73-year-old Bob Zalewski has dedicated the last 35 years of his life to exploring Mount Kanakdai and its history. What I think we're going to find is a lost city down in one of these big caverns down here that's an old people 50, 10, 15, 20,000 years ago. That's what I, my dream is. I see it. Heavy door. But following that dream and unlocking the secrets of the mountain hasn't been easy. And don't touch any of the shoring. Because this is it's what holding these tremendous rocks off our head here. For four years, Zalewski's been working with a team of volunteers, including a professional geologist, searching for a way in. Maybe he can push your feet. <laughs> They've dug 67 feet under the ground, looking for what they believe will be the largest underground cavern in the world, possibly a mile across and more than 2,000 feet high. I've got stories of where they threw square, four-inch square wooden blocks. They painted them red and yellow and threw them down this hole that came up in the lake. Leroy Thomas may be the last living person who says he's seen the black hole that drops into the cavern. He and his high school buddies used to come to the cave in the late 30s before the mountain shifted and sealed the entrance. I can't remember how far through that hole that, that, that I went till the hole went straight down. And then we just dropped rocks and tried to listen to see if we could hear them hit. This is what Zalewski envisions. A vertical shaft at Wright's Peak dropping into a giant triangular shaped cavern. Inside, a lake estimated to be 90 feet deep. That lake sits 300 feet above the level of Clear Lake outside the mountain. Zalewski also believes there are several other ways into the cave, including an underwater tunnel. He's even sent divers down looking for an underwater entrance and fish without eyes who've lived in darkness for millions of years. We know that the room is there. But what's going to be interesting is to find out what else is there. Possibly ancient Indian artifacts. But Zalewski and his crew may now have to start from scratch at another location on the mountain. His team is being ordered off the property where they were digging. The property owner who okayed his exploration project has passed away. Inside Kanoktai Mountain on the shores of Clear Lake, one man has been searching for this nothing for years. But now he's been forced to stop. New Center 4's John Kessler explains. <laughs> This is a sacred land. Homo Indian legend tells of the gate to the upper world here. It was also Indian belief. The little people lived under this mountain and may still. Indian legend. <laughs> I've, I've got books of it. That come Bob Zalewski isn't looking for the little people. He wants to find the world's largest room. It's here. All the old pioneers in town, they know it's here. They, they've heard these stories for generations here. Stories like back in the late 1880s when Heck Miller and his hunting buddies found a hole in the floor of this cave. That would have been right there. A hole down which a thousand feet of weighted string was lowered, never to touch bottom. A hole into which Indians threw a notched log, only to have it found floating in Clear Lake, two miles away at the mountain's base. Zalewski and many others believe that hole is the entry to what could be one of the true wonders of the world, a huge cavern with an underground lake that may have blind fish, fish the Indians say they've caught near another cave on the shore of Clear Lake. We move anything in this hole, everything comes down on our heads. But sometime after 1940, a cave-in covered that hole, and underbrush hid the cave. I spent 35 years investigating this until we finally found the cave. For the past four years, Zalewski and dozens of volunteers working weekends have searched for that hole, digging by hand to lead the way cigar smoke, which was mysteriously pulled further into the cave. You're so close. Yeah, we're close. Disappointing. We decided we'd have to do a different approach to uh, the mountain. So Dan and I got out the camera, and I'm getting my airplane ready for a a flight, and we're going to go over the...